Tonight here on WHAS 11, ABC News is looking at how the church and the Black Lives Matter movement intersect. Churches have long been used during civil rights movements. They also bring faith and politics together. Kristen Goodwill is talking to one of the hosts for Soul of a Nation. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, Lindsay Davis. You are one of the hosts of ABC News' Soul of a Nation. Tell me about the focus tonight. Hi, Kristen. Well, first of all, the, every night we have a theme, and tonight's theme is faith, and by extension, we're talking about forgiveness. We take a look at the black church, the central role that it has played in the civil rights movement and beyond. It's kind of a look then and now and how it fits uh, with regard to the Black Lives Matter movement. With the black church, it relates so much more to, than just faith. Sure, right. We find this kind of intersection where um, the black church has been right there when it comes to uh, politics. Many people will remember Martin Luther King, for example, a lot of the uh, early civil rights meetings took place in Ebenezer Baptist Church right in the basement. So we're talking about that and the space for it now. Um, with the Black Lives Matter movement, where those two fit together, is the church dying? My journey's not gonna stop whether the person watching this forgives me or not. You also talked with Nick Cannon. What was most interesting out of um, that conversation? You know, at one point I asked him, are you seeking forgiveness? And he says, no, I'm not seeking forgiveness, I'm seeking for growth. And he talks about why this journey is so important and he really leans in. At one point he says, you know, I hurt people and I want to understand what I said and why I said it. Soul of a Nation airs at 10 o'clock tonight, right before the night team here at 11 o'clock.